Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We got everything you want. Oh yeah, honey. We know the names. You're a very sexy girl. You're very hard to please. You can taste the bright lights. But you can't get them for free in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Feel my, 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 my serpentine? We're in the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. That is a quote from a man who lives life on the edge, Mr. Axel Rose. And I am, I am summoning him up in my set tonight because it is going to be wild here at this outside festival. Ah. My mother told me that the best way to please a man is through his stomach. But I have found a very convenient detour through the penis. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll take the man and I'll just, I'll lay him down just like that and I'll hold, I'll, if I have to, you know, hold him down, um, uh, strap him in maybe, uh, whatever you got and I'll, I'll get in there and I'll just go around his penis just like this, just like that. See what I'm doing? You see on the on the sides, what I'm doing here, and I don't, and he's like, what are you, what are you doing, you know, are you gonna touch it at all, and I'm like, no, never, uh-uh, for hours, I'll just do that, see what I'm doing, just like that, oh, oh, I touched it, <sighs> tastes like fear, sick. I have been trying to experiment in the kitchen though, just in case, and I've been very adventurous. In fact, just last night there was a huge explosion in my kitchen when I tried to combine pasta with antipasta. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> if I ever become a food critic, which is very easy for me to do because I'm eating food like <laughs> <laughs> like every day, <laughs> you think I'm qualified? Um, I already know what my first review would be if I didn't like it. It would say, oh, the Gargonzola burger at Chez Loué. Kristen Shaw says, I couldn't poop it out fast enough. <laughs> it's universal. Uh, We've all been there. You're going to be there tonight here at this outside. I guarantee you. I don't know what that street meat is. Um, but I'm having some. A lot of people come up to me and the one thing that they're dying to know is, oh my God, is that your real voice? And I'm, I'm always like, no. No, God. This is my real voice. I just didn't want to make you uncomfortable, so I've been using this fake voice my whole life. Are you going to sell those beanie babies or not? Because I think they're going to be worth a lot of money someday. Oh, not that you need to know that. Oh. Who would do that? I mean, who would walk through this earth using a fake voice? What a poser. Especially this one, my God. Do you know how hard it is to order fireworks over the phone? <laughs> All I get is sparklers. Um, I'd now like to do an impression of the doll from my childhood bedroom. This is an impression of the doll from my childhood bedroom. Thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
you would think, oh, that's slow for a comedy show, <laughs> I would let you know that that is 1,000 times faster than how the doll actually moves. The doll would move one centimeter every three hours, enough so waking between my nightmares, I could tell that it had moved, but not enough to call the cops. <laughs> I think one of the worst times in my life, hands down, would have to be junior high. I, I tell you what, if I'm ever having a shit day, and it's, it's occasional, I'll always be like, ah, at least you're not in junior high. And I'm like, I win! <laughs> I remember the first time I ever asked a guy out was junior high. I was 13, and his name was Kyle. And, and it went like this. I was like, hey, Kyle. 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 Kyle! Kyle! Hey, Kyle! Kyle! Hey, Kyle! 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 Oh, hey, Kyle! Wow. What's up, man? Ah, oh, cool shirt. I don't have any fear either. <laughs> oh, man! This is crazy that we're both standing by this water fountain at the same time. I love this water fountain. It's clearly the best one in the whole school. Yeah, yeah, this one has just enough water pressure to make it to my mouth without me having to bend over too far. Like this, I'll, I'll show you. I like water. <laughs> Do you? How about this tall glass of it? Are you thirsty, Kyle? Because I will quench you. Oh, God, I will quench you, Kyle. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> And I threw that water fountain right out the window <laughs> that junior high and I got out like the sheep, the chief in Cuckoo's Nest. Chief. I would now like to do <laughs> my impression of Sally Jesse Raphael introducing the new Lifetime movie. Um, ah, my daughter's coming home, I hope, even though she went to a room. I don't know what. Okay, this is... <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest movie. Um, let me just give me a second. What do I have here to sweeten the impression? Oh, I don't know. Sally Jesse Raphael's iconic red framed glasses. What? I know, but his jaw's on the floor. It's true. I, uh, how did I get these? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I dabble in showbiz, okay? <laughs> I meet people who might have worked for Sally Jesse for 20 years and hate her now, and unsolicited are like, hey, I'll get you her glasses. And I'm like, great. <laughs> and I don't ask how he's getting them or how she's seeing now. I take them, because I deserve them, okay? Because I, des I deserve them. Okay, so this is Sally Jesse Raphael introducing the new Lifetime movie, Where's My Daughter? <laughs> she said she was coming home at nine. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, good. This, I don't know, like, I think this is a keeper. This is great. Um, I have one last thing uh, to do this afternoon before it's three o'clock, and that is one of the things I've dreamt about as a little girl is I've always wanted to be a magician, and I've since realized that the only professional magicians in the world are men, and the women who do magic are, I guess they're witches, and hopefully, 
they've all been burned. Um, but uh, it was disappointing, and you know, since I'm a woman, um, I decided to get as close as I can to the magic world by studying magician's assistants. So this is my audition um, for a magician's assistant, if there are any out there today, and I will leave you with this. All right, so go ahead and hit that sound cue. Oh. <laughs>